terminology in the integral yoga. Today, cosmic will. Sri Aurobindo, Agni is the Deva, the All-Seer, manifested as conscious force, or, as it would be called in modern language, divine or cosmic will, first hidden and building up the eternal worlds, then manifest, born, building up in man the truth and the immortality from the secret of the Veda. There is no necessity in the essential nature of mind, sense, life, that they should be so limited. For the physical sense organs are not the creators of sense perceptions but themselves the creation, the instruments, and here a necessary convenience of the cosmic sense. The nervous system and vital organs are not the creators of life's action and reaction, but themselves the creation, the instruments, and here a necessary convenience of the cosmic life force. The brain is not the creator of thought, but itself the creation, the instrument, and here a necessary convenience of the cosmic mind. The necessity then is not absolute, but teleological. It is the result of a divine cosmic will in the material universe which intends to posit here a physical relation between sense and its object, establishes here a material formula and law of conscious force and creates by it physical images of conscious being to serve as the initial dominating and determining fact of the world in which we live. It is not a fundamental law of being, but a constructive principle necessitated by the intention of the spirit to evolve in a world of matter, the life divine. Moreover, we see that this cosmic action, or any cosmic action, is impossible without the play of an infinite force of existence, which produces and regulates all these forms and movements. And that force equally presupposes or is the action of an infinite consciousness, because it is, in its nature, a cosmic will, determining all relations and apprehending them by its own mode of awareness. And it could not so determine and apprehend them if there were no comprehensive consciousness behind that mode of cosmic awareness to originate as well as to hold, fix, and reflect through it the relations of being in the developing formation or becoming of itself, which we call a universe. It is not possible for the individual mind so long as it remains shut up in its personality, to understand the workings of the cosmic will. For the standards made by the personal consciousness are not applicable to them. A cell 
in the body, if conscious, might also think that the human being and its actions are only the resultant of the relations and workings of a number of cells like itself, and not the action of a unified self. It is only if one enters into the cosmic consciousness that one begins to see the forces at work and the lines on which they work and get a glimpse of the cosmic self and the cosmic mind and will. Letters on Yoga The cosmic will is not to our ordinary consciousness something that acts as an independent power doing whatever it chooses. It works through all these beings, through the forces at play in the world and the law of these forces and their results. It is only when we open ourselves and get out of the ordinary consciousness that we can feel it intervening as an independent power and overriding the ordinary play of the forces. Letters on Yoga Then, too, we can see that even in the play of the forces and in spite of their distortions, the cosmic will is working towards the eventual realization of the will of the transcendent divine. Letters on Yoga A cosmic will and wisdom, observant of the ascending march of the soul's consciousness and experience, as it emerges out of subconscious matter and climbs to its own luminous divinity, fixes the norm and constantly enlarges the lines of the law. Or, let us say, since law is a too mechanical conception, the truth of karma. From Essays in Philosophy and Yoga Everything here is not perfect but all works out the cosmic will in the course of the ages. Letters on Yoga For the manifestation seems to have no purpose except the will of the eternal towards world creation, and it can end only by that will's withdrawal This cosmic will could work itself out without any machinery of rebirth and the individual's desire maintaining it, for his desire can be only a spring of the machinery. It could not be the cause or the necessary condition of cosmic existence, since he is himself, in this view, a result of the creation and not in existence prior to the becoming the life divine. Imaginations can create their own potentiality, especially if they are supported in the collective mind and may, in the long run, draw on themselves the sanction of the cosmic will. In fact, all imaginations represent possibilities. Some are able one day to actualize in some form, perhaps a very different form of actuality. More are condemned to sterility because they do not enter into the figure or scheme of the present creation do not come within the permitted potentiality of the individual or do not accord with the collective or the generic principle 
or are alien to the nature or destiny of the containing world existence, the life divine.